chaps and chapettes, bringing you a nice Model 1887 gameplay today. Just thought I'd start by showing you a few of the streaks that I got on the way to uh, getting the Moab with this gun. I had to obviously work to get their damage and range proficiency because this gun, if you don't hit people directly on with it, then usually you're going to die. Um, you've got to be pretty accurate, you've got to hit them first time. Sometimes you can get away with getting any mark on them, but if there's more than one of them, you don't stand a chance at all. I have probably found my favourite shotgun though, or if not, probably my favourite gun in the game. This gun is so fun to use, it's unbelievable. You put yourself at such a disadvantage to everybody else, but there's nothing more satisfying than just mowing people down. i found that you have to sort of get into a rhythm with this gun. All of these clips and streaks are from a couple of games, two or three games before I actually got the Moab, and you sort of, once you've got into the rhythm of how long it takes for you to get one shot onto the next person, you can sort of bob and weave, move out of the way, and you have to with this gun. You can't stand there and just shoot six people if they're all shooting at you. You're going to die. This guy loves getting turned on. But the main perks that you need to be using with this is you need to be using sleight of hand, you need to be using extreme conditioning and steady aim. They're your three most important perks. Whatever way you want to put them together, obviously I'm using specialist, and then that's up to you. But what I find best is if you start off with extreme conditioning, that usually gets you your first kill. Obviously, you've got to rush towards him to get your first kill. Then have slight advantage straight away because this gun hardly holds any bullets at all, and you need to be—you've got to cock it every time that you're shooting one person. So that's definitely a must. Quick draw, I think, works, and obviously dead silence because I was going for Moab. I want to try and keep myself hidden from the enemy team, as well as obviously using the assassin that also keeps you hidden. But the number one important perk when you're using this gun is steady aim. You cut out so much of the time. That guy absolutely love that payback, by the way. That's what you get for panic knife like a little bitch. But yeah, the steady aim is the number one most important thing that you want to be doing, guys, because it cuts out so much time that you can just shoot someone straight off of the hit. You're already at a disadvantage anyway because you've got one bullet at a time. So cut it down even further. But anyway, we're on to Moab now. Um, it's not the quickest Moab, I'm not going to profess for it to be. Uh, just sort of patrol from like a straight line across the map really. Uh, this is how we play, obviously we keep two flags as you've watched videos on our channel before hopefully. Um, so I don't want to be pushing into spawn, I don't want to flip it. Somebody could be what, one off a Reaper, one off an AC-130, I'll flip spawn to get shot in the back. They're not going to be happy and I'm not going to be happy with myself. So I sort of patrol from side to side. and. You want to, you've got to control your engagement with this gun. You can't run into a room and rambo it and just take out six people. You might get two, you might get three if you're very accurate, but you're not going to get all six of them people and drop them. So what I do a lot is I wait for situations to develop. I wait for the red dots to appear. I wait for them to move closer towards me. I don't need to run around the corner and shoot someone in place when they can run to me. And I've got the element of surprise, as you'll see here when I'm behind these barrels. My whole team was spread across to the left hand side, and there's just one person with me here at B. Now, now by this point, I've got the specialist bonus. Now, I'm not sure if the Model 1887 works exactly the same as what the striker does. Now, I'd like a little bitch here, by the way, but. Yeah, um, when you get a specialist bonus with the strike, you get range, damage and everything, all the proficiencies. Now, I'm not sure if that works the same for every gun, I've never really looked into it. But once you get a specialist bonus with this gun, you are a beast. People will drop and fall to your knees and beg for mercy. Seriously, you've got to try it. It's, it's like pulling teeth, getting there, getting to the end, getting range, getting damage uh, to put on it to start with. But once you're there, it's so rewarding. It's such a fulfilling gun. And end of the day, you play this game for fun, and you're not going to have more fun than with this gun. I guarantee you that. You do have to bob and weave like a professional boxer. You can't just run straight towards people and, as you see, string a steel in four people, the little sod. But anyway, I'll just fast forward to this bit because nothing really happened. I'm just patrolling back and forth. As like I said, I don't want to push spawns, so. I already as well so I'll just wait for him to come to me, it's the best thing, and this spot is absolutely disgusting. I have actually got this gun gold, uh, I get it the game after this I'm going to go with, which is quite good actually, because I would have liked to have got it with uh, the gold model in 87, but hey, you can't have everything in the world. So as you can see, I'm just sort of moving across, I noticed at this point, on my right there's nobody there. Now, straight away, you spin 180, you've got to fill them gaps. If you don't, then you're just going to get slapped up at the end of the day, more fool you. 
So what I were doing is obviously trying to fill the gaps because I'm running around with a shotgun. My entire team, I'm pretty sure the rest of them are just using assault rifles. They can handle their own little spots or wherever they want to hide um, or run about. Then that's fair enough to them. But I just thought I'll run around and I'll fill the spots in between because I'm using a shotgun. I can get across the map quickly. So obviously I drop over to this right hand side. There was someone there, there's not any more. Luckily I didn't get shot in the side. But you've just got to fill those gaps. So I fill the gap, wait for someone to push up and take back the spot. Obviously if they've respawned or whatever, wait for them to cover this side again because I can't stand here and cover it all day. I need to keep moving. I've got a shotgun at the end of the day. <laughs> I've not got some uh, spray and play. So cover this side, wait for someone to push up. And another thing is, you, once you've got dead silence on, you can hear people ridiculously well, and obviously you've got specialists. So I've got Sitred Pro as well. Uh, you can hear them coming. You don't have to run around the corner. Just wait for them here. Just be disgusting. Everybody else is disgusting on this game, running around with Akimbo FMG nines. Which, by the way, this gun is probably the only gun I've seen that can actually outshoot the FMG nines. So you just shoot them in the face and laugh at them for running around with the stupid newbie weapons. On an interesting side note as well, I also got called a shotgun noob after this game. Now, I'm pretty sure the guy hasn't ever used a shotgun on Modern Warfare 3 if he's calling me a shotgun noob, because clearly he's an idiot. He's running around with an assault rifle, I think he had the PP90 M1 silenced on, and he's calling me a shotgun noob. Now, fair enough, Modern Warfare 2 called me a shotgun noob if I'm running around with a spaz and a foregrip. But on this game, really? You're gonna go there? I'm probably got one of the worst weapons in the game due to its low fire rate but hey if that's why he wants to uh, lash out obviously I uh, made him lose his head a little bit but get revenge for my pal stringer there but yeah that's the mo up guys thanks for watching today I uh, hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna hopefully try and get the rest of the shotguns gold and bring you mo ups from them if you're interested in that but I've been Briar's God Mode and thank you for watching. Cheers guys. And hopefully if you've enjoyed yourself, I'll see you on the website or on the channel guys. Cheers. Goodbye to you.